Hey, what's up guys? Um, I'm back at it again. Got a new uh, order from Tackle Warehouse coming in. Um, got some other stuff that I'd like to show off, uh, show you guys how I feel about them, see if it's something that you would may want to order. Um, and uh, like explained, uh, just doing some unboxings to refill and restock uh, for next season and obviously get my arsenal ready. So uh, to start it off, I'm going to use this to kind of not get in trouble from the old lady. Uh, basically, ordered myself a whole bunch of power baits. Um, I did do my order during the 25 days of Tackle Warehouse's Christmas. Um, got myself some Crazy Leg Chicken Crawls. I got two different colors, two packs each. Got uh, Green Pumpkin and Black and Blue. I'm sure you guys have all seen what these look like. Um, and the infamous power bait stench. And boom, that's kind of what it looks like. They're about four inches long. Um, looks very good, very soft, very durable, it seems like. But you guys know, power bait stinks. Second thing I got from power bait, other than those, were some plum worms. Um, not really that big of an advocate for plum but I really wanted to try it out I've always seen people talk about plum and why plum is such a nice color so I want to try it out I mean uh, that's why I didn't really invest too much money into it just got power bait I mean I think it was $1.95 for this pack I can't remember something of that nature but uh, you can never go wrong with the ribbon tail worm so I got some of those from power bait Next things in the soft plastic category, got some Havocs, uh, got some Grass Pig Juniors, and you might as well bring out the other ones. I also got Zoom uh, Super Flukes, or no, Zoom Super Fluke Juniors. So if you can see, uh, they're actually very similar to a degree, and I'll grab one from Havoc and one from zoom and kind of show the difference so by the way this uh california 420 that color from zoom it looks really cool it's a uh, really dark uh at the top it's almost black at the top and then green pumpkin belly so if you guys can see pretty good looking color but as you can see the tail on the zoom it's, i mean it's really flimsy i mean barely held by plastic so I can see somebody going through a lot of those really quickly as opposed to a uh, grass pig which is a little bit more bulkier I guess it looks like uh, going from head to toe or head to bottom um, so it's a little bit less flimsy you guys can see it right there I mean just kind of shaking it and you can tell um, so I definitely probably gonna give it a little bit tighter of an action as opposed to the zoom which is probably gonna go crazy um that tail is probably gonna be flapping back and uh, uh back and forth so these are gonna be paired up to uh chatter baits and such uh jigs swim jigs um spinner bait trailers but i also got these uh swarming hornet um uh underspins um, got a whole bunch of 1 16th and things that I'm just going to be able to kind of throw around, uh, throw on top of, um, cover and such and just kind of swim it through. Now I also got a uh, quarter ounce to kind of get lower in the water column. These are actually, uh, I was surprised. I mean, I didn't think that they were going to be, um, as good of quality, but just kind of looking at it, if you see, I prefer these. And when I saw it, uh, on the website, I was a little skeptical, but I wanted to try them anyway. I mean, they're all discounted. Uh, the great thing about these is it doesn't have an intrusive uh, portion where the underspin comes down from. Um, you've seen other ones where they actually stick out to a far degree. Um, and I feel that that could be intrusive to when you try to set the hook. So as you can see, big, uh, big gap between and I mean, it's a pretty sturdy hook, uh, lead weight at the bottom, um, little keeper right there, but, 
uh, I'm a fan. I mean, it, it feels like it's a good design. So uh, I'm going to try these out, especially in the winter. Uh, see how I do there. But, uh, sorry about that. That scared the crap out of me. That had to have been fireworks or something. Ooh. Got those. I also got a whole bunch of gamblers. Um, these are the uh, ugly otters and the little otters. Difference between the little otters, I mean, geez, aren't they just freaking cute? I mean, they're just very small profile baits, as you can see right there. And then if you look at the four inch ugly otter, and the size difference, by the way, this color is awesome. It's called Black Swirl for the left one right here. And those are the differences right there. It's a lot smaller of a profile. The Ugly Otter has uh, just flaps as opposed to the uh, Little Otter has little uh, f uh, kickers, I would say, as appendages. And then they still have, both have the paddle tail. It's almost kind of reminds you of like a platypus, um, but v very cool. Like I said, I really like the green pumpkin black squirrel. It has the best of both worlds. Um, green pumpkin, your black and blue, which I did get right there. Um, <clears throat> but it gives you that nice profile, especially in dark water. Uh, it's going to give that silhouette really nicely. So those are that. There it is in there. Put this back in here. You gotta love Gambler's uh, fish scent. It smells like garlic. It smells like victory. <clears throat> so, boom. The Whopper Plopper. Uh, as you guys are aware, I mean, this uh, bait is getting a lot of publicity um, all around, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be on the forums. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll be realistic with you. Uh, I've been using uh, this bait for almost a year now, and uh, it, it, it definitely catches fish. So uh, when it kind of got its buzz, I was kind of scared because I thought my secret was getting away, but uh, it's okay. I'm okay to share. Um, I have a couple of different variations of these. The reason why I got this one is because I lost my other uh, black version of the Whopper Plopper, and this is the 90, which is the smallest version. I prefer this color, it's called Loon. I have the bone color, but for some reason I don't catch them on bone. I for some reason catch them on Loon. So I don't know if it's a confidence issue or if it's a, if it's a situation type of bait, but I've always seemed to catch uh, them on this color. Didn't matter what time of date, didn't matter what kind of fish. I've caught uh, pickerel, bass, uh, smallmouth bass, and I've caught it somehow a bluegill on it. So uh, I'm a big fan of it. Um, if it's one bait that you want to try, I'd ask you to try this because you can stop uh, and go retrieve it. You can pop it like uh, any type of popper. You can buzz it like a buzz bait. You can walk the dog with it. I mean, there's just the versatility of this bait is just uh, kind of um, out there for to let the angler choose to fish the conditions. So uh, try it out. I mean, it's a pretty cool bait. Uh, I'm a fan. So, um, boom, uh, I've ordered two of these, but only one came because for some reason, I guess one of my buddies who ordered at the same time, he got the version I really wanted and, uh, it sold out right afterwards. So that one's on back order. I'll probably be getting it, um, shortly, but this is the speed spool tournament pro, uh, and this one's in uh, six to four gear ratio. I'm um, super stoked about this reel. Uh, the only reason why it's because I got it for $150 as opposed to $299, which is what it is retail. Um, Tackle Warehouse, are, I guess they're liquidating all their assets on uh, speed spools because the new speed spool is out. So, um, granted, uh, you know, the new speed spool is nice, it's made out of magnesium, but honestly, for $150, there's no other reel that's going to be better 
um, at this price point. Um, as you can see, one piece die cast aluminum frame and side plates, rugged carbon composite drag, their multi settings brake system, U shaped machine spool, and it's 6.1 ounces. So it's still very light. It's not like it's going to be uh, uh, a heavy weight out there. I mean, for the price you're paying, I mean, guys, I have Daiwas, I have Shimano's, I have Lu's, and honestly, at the end of the day, um, I don't really pick and choose which one is the best. I just think that um, uh, I like every reel for every different type of application, and they all work for me. So, uh, as far as um, you know, what I think about the reel, I mean, I just opened it and I put it back, but to kind of give you guys my first impressions, it's light. I mean, what is it? 6.1. It definitely, uh, you know, feels light in your hands. It's actually really uh, easy to palm. Um, I don't have big hands. I have uh, average size hands, and um, it, it's just really smooth. I can tell that this uh, aluminum finish or whatever finish this is, it's definitely going to be a fingerprint magnet, so um, I'm sure that's going to kind of get on my nerves a little bit, but it is what it is. Um, the EVA phone grips, uh, I have them on my Abu Garcia STX. Uh, I do like them, but after using Shimano and Daiwa's um, real knobs, uh, it's just hard to really go back to something like this and feel comfortable. Um, it's going to take some getting used to, but all in all, it's a really smooth reel. That's for sure. Um, Everything feels really good on it. Everything clicks, which I'm a fan of. Everything clicks. So there's our magnetic brake system. And then to open up the uh, open up the uh, centrifugal brake, um, you, there's a little knob right here, or not knob, but like a little pull pin. You turn up, pop that out, and there's your centrifugal brakes right there. So. I think I turned them all off for now, so put that back in, and boom, super smooth reel. I'm actually really excited to uh, try it out, but I mean, again, it's really small. Um, this is their LFS design, so uh, this is my second LFS design uh, lose reel, um, and I really like the other one, so that's that. Uh, what comes in the box, basically a warranty card, and some product information. Uh, speed spool bait cast reels are designed to be lighter, faster, and stronger, driven by innovation. Fueled with passion, feel the difference. So clearly, good stuff. Definitely good stuff. So that's that. Um, another thing I ordered was, boom, some new sunglasses. Boom, chrome pop, made by Smith Optics. So uh, <clears throat> all in all, guys, uh, I, I've always been kind of a sunglass uh, junkie, and honestly, I go through them probably faster than I do anything else, including shoes. Um, the only reason I say that is because, I mean, when you wear them, there's so much wear and tear, and um, <clears throat> once you start getting into the technology around the lenses, uh, you do see that there is a difference and uh you know over the past week and i even got to kind of try on a pair of costa del mars costa de la Ma del whatever costa del Ma whatever you know what i'm never gonna uh, remember what to say um and i tried their lenses and you know what i was kind of caught in between uh what i wanted to try and honestly i just want to try something different i don't always think that spending 200 300 dollars for a pair of glasses is always means it's the best so I tried for something else. This was actually uh, cheaper, and um, I really wanted to check the, uh, their technology. It seems like they're definitely innovating, um, and they definitely probably are one of the best uh, snowboard um, snowboard uh, you know um, goggle manufacturers with lens technology in those. So if you can just see, you know, this is their Chroma Pop, which basically uh, to their standard they distinguish red, green, and blue uh, uh, easier for the brain to really kind of tell the difference. And um, 
give the contrast to the uh, the person looking through the lens. So if you want to just kind of check it out, maybe this will work or maybe it won't. I don't know. So see, boom. I don't know how good of a demonstration this is really going to do. Mm, pretty cool. Whatever. It is what it is. But I tried them out today. They're actually uh, definitely better than my Oakleys. That's for sure. Um, I have a nice pair of Oakleys. And it's not that they're better. I guess they're just designed differently. I mean, both are polarized. Um, this one just allows the greens to really pop out. Uh, I've noticed that green is definitely a color that really is distinguished uh, when you wear these glasses. So uh, if you do try them out, I mean, check them out. Uh, these are the gray green, uh, gray green lenses, um, and I got them for 125 bucks. Uh, they're $210 sunglasses, so check those out. And the last piece, some Shimano swag. Got this from a buddy who uh, works at the uh, local uh, tackle shop. Um, does online orders, and they have their own uh, retail space. It's called Bait and Hook, and I'll put the uh, URL at the bottom uh, for their site. And their Shimano hoodie. I actually, I know, I'm wearing the red one for the... the the hat matches the hoodie. I'm wearing this one right now. I've had it. Well, well that's about it. So, guys, you've checked out uh, this unboxing. Please, please make sure you like and subscribe this video. Uh, it, it really allows me to know what kind of content um, I could put up on YouTube and have you guys enjoy. Um, I enjoy fishing, uh, that's bar none, uh, something that I do love doing. And if you guys can show your support, it would really guide me on exactly what kind of content I can put up for you guys. So uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have a great new year and uh, have some tight lines. I'll talk to you guys all later.